here at Arnold High School, but just honoring the victims of 9-11. Through the playing of taps and the emotional tributes on stage, Arnold High School is making sure to share the story of 9-11. In Panama City Beach, Anna Hoffman, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The smell, the dust, and the silence. Just a few of the things retired NYPD officer John Trubia recalls about September the 11th, 2001. Trubia witnessed the second aircraft hit the South Tower, the World Trade Center. As News 13's Kelsey Peck tells us, what started off as a beautiful Tuesday morning turned into a dark, catastrophic day that Trubia remembers almost too clearly. This is what we saw at first. We didn't know it was actually bodies people jumping. We thought it was just debris that was falling. This New York newspaper published the day after September 11th has faded, but John Trubia's memories have not. The whole harbor was just covered in, in black smoke. Trubia was an NYPD officer assigned to the harbor unit, working on the water that fateful day when the unthinkable happened. We look up and we see a second plane uh, hit into tower, tower number two. You um, see that with your eyes. We saw that the second, yeah, the second one we actually saw. We saw it flying really low. We heard it flying really low. Look up and we saw just an explosion uh, into the tower. Less than an hour later, he would witness that same tower collapse and everything turn dark. Was it hard to navigate? Yeah, it was, it was, tough. We, the fortunate we have, we have air conditioning within the cabin of the, of the, our boat um, and, uh, but we were strictly running, strictly on radar. It was like being a bad foggy day. Amidst the smoke and dust, Truby and his crew would spend the next several hours transporting injured first responders off the island to be treated. Within probably 10 to 12 blocks of, of the World Trade Center, there was zero uh, movement of any kind of vehicles. You couldn't, get, you couldn't get any kind of emergency vehicles like ambulances or medics down to, down to the ground zero. Um, the only way a means of getting anyone transporting out of there is through via boats. It was commonplace for Trubia to spend his day on their launch boat. A typical shift revolved around keeping their waterways safe between water rescues and responding to any issues with the ferries. But on September 11th, now two separate planes have hit the World Trade Center. We are not Trubia says an unexpected call not only changed the course of their day, but quite possibly their lives. God had a different plan for us that day. He and his crew were instructed to pick up a group of military personnel from their harbor station and give them a tour of the New York Harbor. But as soon as they get there, they're told to immediately turn around because a plane had just hit the World Trade Center. We would have been probably one of the first 10 responders, my, my two partners and I, probably in one of the towers. Um, uh, and um, just, got, just got pulled away from there. 20 years later, it's still a mystery as to who they were to pick up and why they had no details about this tour ahead of time. That morning it wasn't on a roll call. We never had any assignment. To this day, we don't know um, who that personnel was. But he can describe the day and the days that followed in explicit detail. Trubia says Ground Zero resembled a war zone with an overwhelming amount of dust that would dirty his clothes so bad he just tossed them at the end of the day. He also remembers the uncanny sound of silence. The air was silent. There was, there was quiet um, in the air. Until Trivia says he heard Air Force jets flying overhead. The roar of those jet engines, the only thing he'd hear for the first few days after the terrorist attack. And while he finds comfort in the sound now, it triggered flashbacks for him and his wife after they moved to Panama City Beach in 2007. The one thing we had adjust, my wife and I had adjust to coming down to Panama City was hearing the F-22s fly over. Um, the first time we heard him, it was kind of scary. Um, now, their music to our ears. He and his wife have called the world's most beautiful beaches home now for the last 14 years. He says he's proud to call Bay County home. So much so, he gets emotional when talking about it. I'm really thankful for Bay County for remembering with the memorial at the marina. Um, churches, especially my church, First Baptist Church, Panama City, um, and the children, you know, have been teaching, have been, been taught in the schools about it. It's so, it's, um, it just helps that uh, they don't forget. Because it's a moment in his life, 
he'll never forget. And a moment the world will remember forever. Kelsey Peck, News 13, Panhandle Strong.